Hi, it's Corrine for the Cut at Home Design Team, and I was recently asked if I could make a card from scratch for maybe somebody who is a beginner or somebody who wants to get into card making just to go through the basics of how you make a card. So I thought I would just share some of the items that I will most likely be using today. First, I'll be using a paper trimmer. I'm using the Fiskars paper trimmer. You can use scissors, you can use a ruler and a craft knife, whatever is going to be easiest for you. I will also be using a bone folder, angel craft double-sided tape. This is the one quarter inch. I most likely will be using a stamp from this stamp set. This is by Joy Claire. It's hugs and smiles. I will be using the Spellbinder Celebrations Captivating Coral. I'm going to use this pattern paper, I believe, from the Fancy Pants Park Bench collection. I'll be using a, an acrylic block for my stamps. And the paper I'm using is the Spellbinders Celebrations 12 by 12 assorted cardstock. Sorry about the glare. I'll be using this pink and also an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock and my Martha Stewart scoring board along with the stylus from the Heartfelt Creations Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut down my cardstock. We're going to be cutting several mats, but I'm just going to cut my card base at this moment. If you know ahead of time what you're doing, you could cut all your cardstock at once, but I'm going to cut and score this first just to show you. So this is going to be the base of our card, and I'm going to cut this to eight and a half by five and a half. And if you were using an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock, you could get two cards out of it. So that is eight and a half by five and a half. And I will reiterate all these measurements. I'll have all the measurements on Cut at Home's blog as well, along with the product used. So now I want to score my card base in half. Um, I have it on the eight and a half inch side, and I'm going to use my stylus and score it at four and a quarter. When you're going to score, if you run your hand over where you're going to score, we all have natural oils in our hand. That will help your stylus glide much easier. So this is a pretty thick cardstock. I'm going to score it several times, but I'm doing it very lightly. You don't want to be too rough with it or you can tear your paper. So now when you're scoring, you have an indentation, and this is where we scored on, and on the other side, you have a bump. You want to fold into that bump. That will help to eliminate cracking of your paper, and it'll help you get a nice good crease on your card. So now here is our card base. Let's go ahead and cut the rest of our layers, and I'm going to do it in order how we're going to be layering them. So our first layer, we want to cut to five and a quarter by four, and we're going to cut two of these out. So I'm cutting that to five and a quarter by four. Here's one. And now I will cut the second one. And one of them will be our first mat on our card base. The other one will be a mat for the inside to write our greeting on. So now we want to cut a piece of paper from the same cardstock that we cut our card base out of. And this one's going to be five by three and three quarters. So five by three and three quarters, and this is going to make our second mat. Okay, so that's gonna layer on top of the white. So hopefully you can see how we're doing this. And now we're gonna cut another mat from the white cardstock. This is going to be three and a half by four and three fourths. So four and three fourths by three and a half. That's going to layer on top. And now lastly, we want to cut our pattern paper. And this is gonna sit at the bottom of our card. And I'm not sure I like that together. So let me pull out another piece. I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this banner. This is from Fine and Dandy by My Mind's Eye. And so our pattern piece we want to cut to three and a half wide by two and a half tall. So two and a half tall. by three and a half wide. And I'm going to do it this way. Lastly, we want to cut a tiny strip that's going to go on the front of our card. We want to cut this to one quarter inch by three and a half and you can skip this if you want or you can use ribbon if you'd like. So one quarter inch by three and a half. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add my Angel Craft tape all over the back of all my mats and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've adhered all my tape and we can start layering our card. So this first piece is going to be the five and a quarter by four. And just remember, I'll have all these measurements on Cut at Home's blog. So I'm just trying to center that the best that I can. Our next mat piece is going to be the color cardstock. This is five by three and three quarters, centered on the white. Our next piece is going to be the white. This is four and three quarters by three and a half. And lastly is going to be our pattern paper. Put it at the end of your last white mat and just line it up with the sides. So here is where that little piece will go. It will go in between our white cardstock and our pattern cardstock. If you wanted to use ribbon, like I said, you can use ribbon, but you would want to wrap the ribbon around before you adhere down that last white mat piece. So for this, I'm just adding some wet glue. And I'm using my pattern paper as a guide and adhering that down. And now you can embellish it. You can leave it just as it is. You could add a flower, whatever you'd like. I'm going to add my mat piece to the inside of my card. I will be stamping my sentiment. Now this says your loving hugs, but I just want loving hugs. So I'm going to use a little piece of scotch tape and tape off the word your, because I don't want to ink that up. Ink that up and then remove my tape before I stamp it down. Okay, so that says loving hugs. I'm going to ink up sending you. Stamp that right above it. To finish off my card, I have this adorable little bow that I had in my stash. This was cut quite a while ago from the Cameo, so I'm just going to adhere that down using some glue. You could leave it as it is or add a flower, whatever you'd like. 
and I have this little white enamel dot that I will adhere down with a glue dot. Take this glue dot and I actually don't need it as big as it is so I'm going to cut that in half and cut it again a little almost into a quarter and then I will roll that up place that under my enamel dot and stick that down. So as you can see this is how to make a super cute super quick card. You don't need much product to do so and here are two others that I have made. If you have any questions please leave me a comment and check out Cut at Home's blog for all the products and measurements. Thanks for watching.